What's going down T-Subs and T-Squad? So listen, I know I have been promising you all for the past two weeks green leaf. Girl, the fact of the matter is, I really didn't feel like doing it. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't feel like doing it, and this review is more so gonna be a cliff note version of the past three episodes. One, two, and then the one from Thursday. I mean, the one from Tuesday. Yeah, three. Like, comment, share, most importantly, subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell, become the notification gang gang. And if you really work with my channel the way y'all say y'all do, please make sure to watch those ads. Y'all already know the rest of the formalities, so ain't no need for me to get into all of that. So the cliff note version is gonna go down like this. I'm gonna name all of the names and I'm gonna talk about them from what they gave us in the first three episodes and then we're gonna end this. And y'all not gonna see me again until the night for marriage boot camp. So, <clears throat> uh, Bishop and Lady May. Um, <clears throat> First and foremost, I feel bad for Bishop and Lady May that the fact that they had to see their beloved church get torn down because of the lights and the antics of these good white folk down to H&H. &H. Um, I'm with Bishop. You know, what's the purpose of crying over spilt milk? You built one mega church, bitch. You can do it again. So I'm all here for Bishop saying, you know what? We could cry, whine, be all upset and mad about it, or we could just make the best out of a bad situation and just start our church all over again. So I'm here for it. As far as Lady May and her attitude is concerned, I get it. But at the same time, Lady May, you are partly responsible for the fact, for the reason as to why your daughter committed suicide. So for you to sit here and try to pile on the way you're piling on on charity, and don't get me wrong, I definitely get it. I do not feel bad about what the fuck charity got going on. I don't. I do not feel bad for her none at all. But see, I can feel that way because I'm not the one responsible for my daughter's demise. You understand me? Like, you know, and as much as I see it for Lady May, she's a hypocrite because you love to pile on everybody else's sins and faults like you don't have none of your own. Like, let's not forget how you had a whole, how you had Grace by Lionel, who was Bishop's friend. Okay? And tried to have it for all of these damn years. Okay? Don't do that. Don't sit here and try to act like you didn't know that Mac was fucking your daughter. Okay? Let's not act like that. Like, I hate when church people do that. So, at the end of the day, while I understand you being upset and frustrated and mad at Charity and giving Charity her just dues, I'm still not here for you doing it by you being the messenger with all of the bull crap that you done had to go on doing, doing this damn show. Um, Clarissa and Jacob. Clarissa, I don't like you. Clarissa, I don't like nothing about you. I actually cannot stand your character. Me and my bestie done already made it up in my mind that they need to kill you off for this season because what you're doing, and, and it's confusing to me because I'm not understanding what his parents have to do and what they may or may not have done have to do with you and this divorce. Okay, there's a possibility that they stole that land that their house the, the land in the house that all of y'all living in from some white woman it's a chance okay now what because you're not married to the bishop you're not married to lady may and you show sure ain't married to the white woman who house and land that they stole so i'm just completely confused and bewildered to be fuddled even if you know what I'm saying? You was to use that. What does that have to do with your divorce? But I get it because you automatically see. I honestly feel like she may have signed a prenup. And that's why she's using this to her advantage because more than likely what she came into the marriage with is what she's going to leave out with and nothing more. Maybe child support for Wink, uh, for Winky, I mean, because Zora, ain't Zora 18 at this point? Yeah, so child support for her done ended. That, that gravy chain done settled. And listen, I'm not all the way mad at Clarissa. Listen, get it how you live. Okay, pay your way, ho. 
But at the end of the day, I'm not, I don't see it for you. I'm not here with you. And something bad going to happen to you down to towards the ending of this season and this uh, series. And I'll be all here for it. As far as Jacob goes, I can see Jacob and Tasha Skanks being together. I can. I honestly feel like out of all of the concubines that we've seen him with, um, Tasha Skanks probably holds more of a heartstring than anybody else because as you can see, he went right back to that woman and that woman knows a good man when she see him. See, after dealing with the likes of a, of a Basie, you have no choice but to know and see and realize when you have a good man and when you don't. Um, and I'll be all here for it, Jacob. Listen, they say Greenleaf about to have a spinoff. So I really hope the spinoff consists of you and Tasha Skanks. Uh, uh, well, Tasha Greenleaf, formerly known as Tasha Skanks. See, the Bible says power, life and death is in the tongue. You speak it, it shall be so. So I'm hoping that once we see this good uh, <clears throat> spinoff, that we can see Tasha replace Clarissa, because I'll be all here for it. As far as Alexia and this baby is concerned, I honestly do feel like Jacob, that is Jacob's daughter, I do believe so, because if it wasn't, she wouldn't have been so rah-rah. Like, at the end of the day, he's not solely responsible for why you lost your job, because you knew this man was married. No matter how I may feel about Clarissa, you knew that man was married. And that's the shit that you white women do that I absolutely hate. You put yourself involved in some nonsense, but then once you reap the consequence of it, it's everybody else's fault but yours. It's hard for me to feel sorry for you because you knew that this man was married. No matter what they had going on. You let that man work that out. And then if he decides that it's not, it can't be worked out. Then you can shoot your shot. But it's hard for me to feel bad for you. Um, I feel bad for the daughter. But I do think that that daughter is Jacob's. I just do. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Charity. I was going to save you flash charity. But why? Charity, I don't feel bad for you. I don't feel bad for you at this point. I do not care. Whatever heartache and hardship that you have going on, you most greatly deserve it. What kills me is how people will turn against everything that they know and love for a position that they do not earn. Baby, you could want to be a preacher all day. But just like that's your want, we have our wants. And our wants is we don't want to hear you. We want to hear you sing. We don't want to to hear you preach, okay? Those are, I, your wants is, you, mama, I want to preach. Mama, I want to sing. But mama, we don't want to hear you preach. Mama, we want to hear you sing. We want you in them big, bulky ass, hot ass robes with them tired ass overlays with your hair tied up in a nasty bun or a pony and singing your face to the floor. You qualify for that. You don't qualify to be a, patcher, a preacher. And I don't care what any of y'all got to say about it. Moving on. Um, <clears throat> Noah and Grace. Um, Grace, your mama went about it all in the wrong way, but I understood where she was coming from. I do feel like this is the point of time for you and Noah to try to come together as this boy's mama and father. Nobody wants you to marry him. Nobody wants you to have no more babies by him. Nobody wants y'all to be living together, shacking up, sharing a room and all that shit. Won't want none of that. Y'all done already shared enough. Okay, because y'all got an overgrown son walking around out here. So I was kind of with Lady May when she said, listen, maybe instead of trying to do this thing by yourself, invite the boy father on. Because this is the time where he's going to need both his parents, especially with what he done already done, gagged us with the information and tea that he done gagged us with, which we about to get to in just a few seconds. Um, Zora, Nikki, Zora, Nikki, and Sophia. Zora, thank you so much for not allowing that bitch to straight up come in, straight up, wait up, hold up, Mr. Lover, and go in on your cousin. Thank you for finally al not allowing a outsider to come in and disrespect your family and try to fight your family up in their house. I don't like Nikki at all. Nikki ain't nothing but a gold digger. She's a poser. Um, the only reason why she going this hard for Dante ain't because she love that boy, but because she has absolutely nothing else left. She put all of her hard work and time into this dude, this little young boy, and did nothing for herself. That's why she's fighting tooth and nail to keep him around. But Miss Nikki, I'm going to tell you something. Dante ain't no dummy. He know what you there for. 
Now, he may be trying to appease you for as long as he possibly can to try to figure out another exit route, but you better believe he already see you and he see you for who you is. And it ain't much. And I was with Sophia. Listen, the minute that one, when that girl looked at her and said, at least I can have kids, I was for Sophia going in and letting have. And if I was Zora, I wouldn't have stopped her from going in on Nikki. And the only time I would stop is if Nikki was getting the better of her. Then we just going to jump that hoe. Watch your mouth, little girl, because quiet as it's kept, your man don't even want you. While you sitting out here uh, 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 sending out this woman's titty pictures. And, and I never understood that either, because at the end of the day, you a woman just like she is. What comes around goes around. The karma is a bitch and they call her one for a reason. You get my drift? Hang if you can hang, no pain, no gain. Um, last but not least, AJ and this boy. Listen, I told y'all last season, this is exactly what I said about AJ and that boy and them pills. And y'all could go back in my reviews to prove what I said, what I said. And what I said, won't well, no bullshit. Shout out to Candy and NeNe Leakin. Um, I been said, a whole year ago, AJ could be sick. He's a felon, so he does not qualify for insurance. And he must be sick with something. And that's probably why he's still in those medications. That's exactly what I said. I said, I think that boy is sick and he not telling nobody that he's sick. I said that. Please go back into my Greenleaf archive and find the video where I said I said it, it was last year. In the first episode, we find out that the man, the little boy that Grace saw is the boy that the police brutally gunned down and they call him the uh, the pharmacy cowboy or whatever it is because he was stealing shit. AJ finally opens up to Sophia and says that while he was locked up, he was gang raped and one, if not all of the people that gang raped him gave him HIV. And that's why he doesn't want to be a part of a family. I guess he feels like he's going to die now, especially because, and which leads me to why that boy came. I honestly believe that boy was one of the guys that probably raped him and he probably felt bad for what he did. And so he's trying to make a bad situation right by trying to still get him his medications that he needs. And now that this boy is dead, AJ can't do it no more because he already was, uh, um, got found out about it and almost went down for it because he did do it. And I think that's why AJ wanted to kill himself because now that he doesn't have the drugs, he's going to die anyway. So it's like, fuck it. They're not going to let me leave. I'm just going to take myself up out of here. That's what I honestly believe. But what I will say is Sophia gave him some really good point of advice, which is you keep saying that you're tired of people making you feel like a puzzle that they're trying to figure out. But you're giving them everything that they need to do that with because you're not forthcoming. I hate when people do that. I hate when people want to get mad and upset for you treating them like they're on trainer wheels. But how else are we supposed to treat you when this is all that you're giving us? You're not opening up to nobody. You're not letting nobody know what's really going on with you. Except for Sophia. I am glad that there is a Greenleaf outlet that he can go to. And who better to go to than your sister? So I was all here for it. And I'm glad that he finally told Grace the truth. Now it makes sense why you all sickly in the face and all raccoonish. And your eyes sinking all around about your ass. Girl, it's because you got H. AJ Lord I feel so bad Cause I actually like AJ I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say I like AJ um, But y'all that was the cliff note version Of all three episodes I gave y'all three episodes And one don't say I ain't never did nothing for you Cause you be a ball face lie Y'all drop down in the comments Y'all let me know what y'all thought about all three of the episodes Let's get the discussion popping And until tonight for marriage boot camp I'm gonna holler at y'all later Bye I just woke up and I rolled up. I just woke up and I rolled up. And I got my plane ticket. That push that be my starter kit. I just woke up and I rolled up. 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 I just woke up and I r